地球を含めた太陽系の惑星軌道は古くから多くの研究者が生涯を捧げた最も歴史の長い研究の一つですそんな惑星に第9の惑星プラネット9の兆候が現在の天文業界で話題になっているのをご存知でしょうか今回はこのプラネット9の兆候候補を研究する台湾の日本人研究者チームの活躍を取材しましたみなさんこんにちは台湾重力化実験グループ研究員の田辺大樹です今日は、えー、太陽系の、えー、一番外側に位置するとえー、かもしれないと言われている、えー、プラネットナインの、えー、研究について伺うために台湾国立聖火大学の、えー、後藤教授のところにお邪魔しています、えー、皆さんどうぞよろしくお願いしますお願いしますリコンピー You have group and published a paper about the planet nine I give a, my respect to the author and uh, he is uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Terry And uh, uh, he's the first author of the、uh, published paper. And、uh, he's Professor、uh, Thomas Ikoto, and he's the、uh, project leader of this、uh, group. And、uh, could, uh, could you give us a、uh, brief、uh, self introduction from yourself? So,、um, hi, my name is、uh, Terry Longfang.、Uh, I'm a second year PhD student in National Tsinghua University. And by the way, I'm a big fan. So, my、uh, research、uh, interest is p a n a t o m i c style, especially as a system object. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Tomo. I'm an astronomy professor here at National Tsinghua University. I got a PhD from the University of Tokyo, and then I did、uh, several postdocs, including in the US and then in Europe. And about 10 years ago, I moved to here, this university, National Super University, to be a professor. Yes, thank you. Well,、uh, first of all,、uh, could you introduce uh, the, what the planet, planet Nine is? No, so, first of all, I would say it's not Pluto, because since、uh, 2006, Uh, Pluto got demoted from planet to no planet、uh, because of its、uh, very small mass compared to the Earth mass. So,、um, currently, when we talk about planet 9, we are talking about a hypothetical planet、uh, at the outer solar system. So,、uh, if、uh, we want to understand what planet 9 is, let's back to more than 10 years ago. When people try to analyze the, the orbit of minor o b j e c t in the Kuiper Belt, they found that this object has a、uh, peculiar orbital clustering,、uh, not only in、uh, argument of perihelion, but also in the physical space. So imagine、uh, every people、uh, walking around the New York Times Square on the same way in the same direction. So this cannot happen, right? So apply in Apply the same logic here. So, the, this orbital clustering cannot happen randomly in the chance unless it's related to an unknown dynamical mechanism. So,、uh, one famous simulation by a d i g a n and b r o w n in 2016 they suggest that、um, a giant distant planet with at least 10 Earth mass and located around 700 AU can maintain this orbital clustering, and that's why they come up with the planet 9 hypothesis. Thank you.、Uh, it is the、uh, uh, description of、uh, planet 9, and uh, uh, your group、uh, stated that、uh, you found the candidate of the,、uh, planet 9 with the、uh, latest observation data. Uh, before, uh, before going into the,、uh, your, uh, your own study,、uh, could you provide a background or history of this study? Yeah, actually,、um, in the past, there are many groups that they try to search for Planet 9 in,、uh, using optical survey. Uh, but uh, turns out they only、uh, constrain possible orbital parameters for Planet 9, like、uh, 
that's the dementia axis or aesthetic CP without successfully proposing the specific candidates for candidate line. Because um, the predicted uh, uh, assembly major access of planet nine very far away beyond the Neptune orbit. So um, when the light, the, the sun light, travel from the sun to planet nine, and it has to reflect back to the Earth, so it needs to travel twice. But the thermal emission uh, by planet nine in far infrared, it only need to travel once from planet 9 to the Earth. So uh, it uh, degenerates slow, more slowly than the reflected sunlight. So that's why we come up with the idea that we search for planet 9 using the uh, far infrared or sky survey. Yeah. Thanks. So uh, when you say optical observation, uh, it means the visible light, right? Instead of the visible light, uh, you use the uh, infrared yeah. wavelengths. Oh, I see. How long is the history of this kind of uh, search for the um, Actually, uh, they, because uh, uh, after the discovery of Neptune, people search for another planet beyond the Neptune because they, they, they think that that, uh, that planet uh, gravitational influence can affect the the orbit of Neptune and Uranus, and after that they found Pluto. But turns out the mass of Pluto is very small to be considered a planet, so that's why Pluto got demoted in 2006. And um, as I mentioned before, uh, since the uh, scientists try to analyze the orbit of uh, other minor planetary objects. They, they found an um, unusual orbital clustering and they, they, they thought they thought this should relate to another uh, distant Chinese planet and th that's how they uh, come up with the planet nine hypothesis. Oh, yes. Explain about the Kuiper Belt. Yeah, the Kuiper Belt is uh, the belt uh, including the minor icy body in the outer solar system. Yes, and the the total mass of those uh, ice icy body is about one percent or two percent of the mass. Yeah. Uh, how how far is the Kuiper belt from from the Earth? Is it the belt out the uh, belt between, for example, Neptune and Uranus, or Neptune and Pluto? Uh, it's beyond the Neptune orbit, and it can expand up to the inner uh, Oort cloud. So the, the, the Oort cloud uh, distance is predicted to be uh, 10,000 to 100,000 AU. Yeah, and the Kuiper Belt uh, should like, locate uh, in, the, in the inner part of the Oort cloud. Oh, I see. So the Kuiper Belt has a, a pretty wide band, a wide range of the uh, distance. distance. Oh, I see.